Behold the beautiful princess of a warland. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny and you are in Turkey headquarters. So recently, uh, the king of a warland, that's the Oluwa, Oluwa of a warland, his second wife gave birth to a bouncing baby girl. So day before yesterday was the naming ceremony of the beautiful, adorable princess. Remember, according to Yoruba culture, um, naming ceremony of a child takes place after uh, seven days that the child is born. This has been the tradition of Yorubas since... Um, the existence of their forefathers and it has been like that even if we are in our broad no matter where you are you must surely do the naming ceremony after seven days so this is what took place here you are seeing all these beautiful pictures of people that attended the naming ceremony this naming ceremony is not like a child's play this is something that will open door usher in blessings, usher in the child and the mother um, to the community, to the family, especially the child. This ceremony is like communities, friends, families, relatives um, will come together to welcome the child officially into the community, into the world. Um, they will pray for the child. They will, you know, present gifts there will be a lot of drinks a lot of things this is a very beautiful beautiful tradition um, of the yoruba's naming ceremony and for the fact that it takes place um seven days after the child is born makes it very unique kudos to yoruba's and their culture yeah so this ceremony took place um day before yesterday the Oluwa of Iwo land took to his Instagram page and he wrote, um, this is pictures from the naming ceremony of beautiful and adorable real royal princess. This is where the Wahala started. People were saying that he shouldn't have used that word real. He should have just said beautiful and adorable royal princess. I know that um, nobody has the right to tell the king or, or a father of a child what to write. But people are saying that, um, remember that this man had um, a first wife before who is, who is a Jamaica. I don't really know whether it's a boy or a girl that, you know, that the first wife gave birth to. Some are saying it's a boy, why some are saying it's a girl. Like I've checked Google, Google is telling me he has a child with a Jamaican, but they're not telling me whether he's... Um, a male or female so if you know whichever one it is drop it on the comment section let's continue so people are saying that he said the real royal princess does it mean that the one the jamaican woman had is not real people are saying that this kind of word this kind of um write-up will cause wahala in future for the children it will bring hate it will bring a lot of hate let's use Tonto DK and Churchill as an example. Remember, Tonto DK gave birth to Churchill's first son, who is king. Then, when um, that um, the other actress rose, that you know, that got married later to Tonto DK's husband, ex-husband, sorry, and he gave birth to a son too, and they named that one real king. So that thing will cause a lot of problems. People were saying that Churchill, you did not do well by calling this one um, real king. Knowing full well that Tonto this case child's name is King, that you can't give two of your sons the same name. That is very, very wrong. That means um Tonto Dick's son, you don't value him as your first son. You value the one that you have with your present wife as the first son. You know, sometimes when you are carried away with love, you forget that there is something called future. And this world, nobody is going to stay forever. When this man leaves this world or when you do something and 
no doubt make your children to start fighting each other in future. It might not be there when then. So people were saying that this man is not supposed to use sorry, not man, the king is not supposed to use the word the real royal princess. So I'm just emphasizing on this word real. He would have said royal princess than real, you know. They said this has gotten the Jamaican woman offended. You know that Jamaican woman is, um, I don't know, she's a um, social media freak or something. Like any little things that the woman had with this king that time, he, she would just come on social media and start doing videos, a lot of videos. I'm not blaming her. You know, during that time, she said she doesn't have, like, she don't have peace of mind in the marriage. You know, after she left, that now she has peace of mind. It's like that. Some people are not compatible, especially um, in times of marriage. It's not every. They might you might be doing lovey lovey when you are doing relationship, but when you enter marriage, the, a lot of things change. That's when some people get to notice that they are not compatible, really. Even though when they are in relationship, they will notice it. So what I'm actually saying is that I hope this woman will not pick camera. Or put a ring light and start ranting again because, hmm. but anyway, I'm super happy for the king. Congratulations once more to the king and his beautiful wife, uh, you know, and the people of Iwoland generally. Now they have a princess or prince, I don't know. But if you go to the comment section, people are congratulating him and his wife, people are super happy. Like people are pouring prayers a lot for the um new baby, the mother, the king. I I'm beginning to think that wow, these people love this man. Remember, this particular king has faced a lot of challenges. You know, when he got married to this beautiful um Aosa woman, people were saying that he's bringing Muslim inside their community. That he's bringing outside people inside their community like this is one of the community in yoruba land that you will go you will see a lot of fulanese um with their cows a lot of them i know they are in other places but they said here that you know since the king married one of their sister now they are in-laws that a lot of them are trooping in in iwo land i don't know how true is that but they really fought this king to take his um, kinship from him. But um, this man is super strong. You see this king? I know I read about it. Maybe is it last two years ago or something like that. But anyway, the cocoa thing is the beautiful princess picture has been shown. In fact, even though they didn't show it very well, but the baby is super cute. You know, little babies, they're always cute. I've not seen a newborn baby that is not cute. I've not seen... A baby that is not cute she's looking so cute and the mother's too is looking beautiful may god bless the father the mother the child and all of us in jesus name amen thank you so much for watching and i will see you on my next video if you watch up to this moment and you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and click on that notification bell so you'll be getting notification anytime i post a new video thank you so much and have a beautiful beautiful weekend